Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about the MOX distribution in IIT Jam 2018 and on that basis, you will get an idea uh, about the MOX distribution in IIT Jam 2019. Okay. In IIT Jam exam, there are three kinds of questions, MCQ, MSQ and NAT, NAT type questions. So in that basis also, I will give you the idea. You will get the idea of MOX distribution from organic, inorganic and physical chemistry. Okay, so keep watching. So first coming to group A, that is MCQ type questions. Here you will find 30 questions and in which 10 questions will contain 10 marks and 20 questions will contain 40 marks total. So total 50 marks uh, you will get from group A, that is MCQ type questions. So the first questions coming here is from inorganic chemistry, yes and P block elements. Okay, so second question from bio inorganic chemistry, third questions from P block chemistry and the fourth questions from chemical bonding. The fifth questions coming from organic chemistry, basic organic reactions. The sixth question coming from organic chemistry, basic organic chemistry. Seventh question seven from carbohydrate, question eight from physical chemistry, basic mathematical concept, question nine from solid state chemistry that is from physical chemistry question 10 from adsorption that is from physical chemistry coming to question 11 that is two marks questions it's, this is from inorganic chemistry periodic table and coming to question 12 this is from physical chemistry spectroscopy then coming to question 13 this is from d block element question 14 d block element question 15 nuclear chemistry all these three are inorganic from inorganic chemistry Question 16, inorganic chemistry, P block elements. Question 17, basic carbocation chemistry, that is organic chemistry. Question 18, cyclohexane organic chemistry. Question 19, uh, heterocyclic organic chemistry. Question 20, or, organic name reactions, McMurray reactions here. Question 21, this is also from pericyclic chemistry. Question 22, this is from uh, organic name, organic reactions. Question 23, this is basic organic chemistry. Question 24. This is from name reactions organic. Question 25. Physical chemistry. Thermodynamics. Question 26. Physical chemistry. Conductance. Question Question 27. Chemical kinetics. Physical chemistry. Question 28. Gas. Physical chemistry. Question 29. Basic mathematical concept. Physical chemistry. Question 30. Physical chemistry. Conductance. So from group A, you will get total 9 inorganic chemistry questions, 11 organic chemistry questions and 10 physical chemistry questions. So more or less the number of questions from organic, inorganic and physical are same. That's why I have told uh, not to ignore anything because uh, from every chapter you have seen that you will get any one at least one questions and uh, maybe more than one question. So don't ignore anything. I am telling this you again. Okay. Now let's talk about section B. Section B contains MSQ type questions. There are, there are total 10 questions. Each contains 2 marks and total 20 marks. So first question was from inorganic chemistry extraction of metals sec th second question from physical chemistry conductance third question from inorganic chemistry p block elements fourth question that is 34th questions was from acid base inorganic chemistry 35th question was from organic chemistry cyclohexane 36 organic chemistry carbon basic organic chemistry carbon chemistry actually 37th question organic chemistry its name reactions 38 it, this is from organic chemistry amino acids 39 physical chemistry atomic structure 40 physical chemistry thermodynamics so there were total three physical chemistry four organic chemistry and three inorganic chemistry okay so here also organic chemistry is uh, going ahead of you know physical or inorganic chemistry now coming to section c section c contains total 20 questions in between 10 questions contains 10 marks and 10 questions contains 20 marks so total 30 marks section c contains nat type questions so the first question from inorganic chemistry d block elements second question inorganic chemistry oxidation reduction third question organic chemistry nmr fourth question organic chemistry stoichiometry five fifth question organic chemistry nucleic acid sixth question 46 question physical chemistry chemical kinetics 47th Physical Chemistry Thermodynamics 48 Physical Chemistry Atomic Structure 49 Physical Chemistry Thermodynamics 50 
physical chemistry gas now 51 inorganic chemistry p block elements 52 inorganic chemistry nuclear chemistry 53 inorganic chemistry d block elements 54 physical chemistry basic physical chemistry 54 it's 10 plus 2 standard question 55 organic chemistry rs nomenclature 56 physical chemistry conductance 57 physical chemistry thermodynamics 58 physical chemistry hydrogen molecule that is from spectra 59 conductance physical chemistry 60 physical chemistry atomic structure so here also total 11 physical chemistry questions from section c nat type questions organic chemistry there are four questions and inorganic chemistry there were five questions so there are total 60 questions in iit jam every year and in between in jam 2018 24 physical chemistry questions, 17 inorganic, inorganic chemistry questions, and 19 organic chemistry questions. So, overall, physical chemistry is ahead of organic or inorganic chemistry. Okay, so this was the total discussion of uh, marks distribution and number of questions coming from physical, organic, or inorganic chemistry. So, you may get an idea from this, and, and you can be ready uh, on, the, on this basis. Okay, so just keep going through. Keep watching, keep following and keep making yourself more and more better. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching.